Hello, how y'all doing this afternoon? Uh, today, I want to show you how you can use the C4 synth to generate full chords by picking a single note on your guitar or bass. Now, the key ingredient to creating a chord that stays within your song's proper key is the harmony option in the Neuro Editor. The harmony option allows you to set one or more of the voices in your C4 preset to shift to the correct pitch within the key that you're working. So if you're working in the key of C major and you play a C on the guitar, the voice that's covering the third will generate an E, the major third. However, if you move up and play a D, the voice covering the third will play an F, which is the minor third of the D minor chord, which stays within the structure of the C major scale. Okay, so I've got a, a, a preset here called C seventh chords, which was created by our friend Do Noise from the Neuro community. Uh, you'll notice that the preset uses all four of the C4's voices. He's also got the mix knob, which is up here. He's got that pulled back so that you'll always hear a little bit of the clean guitar mixed in with the synth sounds. So here is the sound of the preset. So that's a pretty excellent preset, but I'm going to also add a little bit of chorus from my Gemini chorus, as well as some uh, delay with my collider delay plus reverb. Now here's how that sounds. All right, now let's break this thing down and hear all the separate pieces. Uh, I'll just bypass the pedal so that we're only hearing the dry guitar first. So that's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's turn it on and let's start with voice four, since this voice is generating the root note of our chord. He's got it set to monophonic pitch two. So it's generating a pitch that is one octave down. Essentially, this is giving you the same type of effect as you would get with uh, with a Boss OC2 octave pedal. I notice he's also got it running through uh, some overdrive. You can see down here that just voice four is running through the drive. And the drive type he's selected is heavy and bassy. So here is what voice four sounds like by itself. <laughs> Moving on, voice three is covering the fifth of the chord. It's set to polyphonic pitch one. Now we're not moving the octave and we're adding a plus seven semitones, which if you count by half steps is a fifth up from your root note. Now remember this voice is not set to harmonization. It is only pitch shifting. So no matter what note I play, this voice will always generate uh, the perfect fifth above it. And here are the two voices, voice four and voice three together. Now, uh, before I go any further, I also want to quickly point out what the envelopes and the filters are doing because they're important. Down here, the envelope is set to wide range to faster decay for most of the voices. You can see in this dropdown that you have a bunch of envelopes to choose from. Voice three is actually controlled by the second envelope, which is set to swell. Now what the envelope does is react to the incoming signal and control the audio level of each voice as well as the movement of the filter. So basically what it's doing is adjusting the manner in which the notes turn on and off. We also call this attack and decay of the notes. Now the filter, which is up here, applies to a moving filter on each voice. The movement of the filter is also controlled by the same envelope that controls the attack and decay of the notes. A filter is what gives you the basic character of the sound. 
You can see that there are a bunch of different filters to choose from. For this preset, it's set to two pole low pass, but I'll try something, I'll, I'll, I'll try some different ones to give you an idea of how they change the character of the sound. Let me turn all the voices on for this. And let's try a uh, notch notch low pass. This is band pass one. And here is three stage phaser. So you can definitely hear the, the change of character with each uh, different filter. But we're going back to the two pole low pass. So now let's move on to voice two. This voice is handling the seventh in the chord. So he selected saw two. Uh, the saw, square, and sine options are what are known as oscillators. If you're using one of the oscillators, you're using a pure monophonic synthesizer tone. Okay, so we're using saw two, and we've got it set to one octave up. And down here, we've selected interval plus harmony two. The reason it's harmony two and not harmony one is because we're using saw two. The fact that it's saw two as opposed to saw one indicates which harmony interval is being used. So now let's scroll down to the harmony box and select our key and our interval. The first thing we'll do is select our key. We are in the key of C, which is right here. Next, we need to select our mode or scale. Uh, of course, the most common scales are the major and minor scales, but the C4 does offer a bunch of different modes and scales, uh, as you can see. For this preset, we're using the major scale, which you uh, music theory people uh, will know is also called the Ionian mode. And finally, we're selecting our interval for voice two. You'll remember that I'm using saw two, so I need to select its interval from the interval two drop-down menu. And we're selecting the seventh. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a harmony voice and we're in the key of C. Uh, whatever note I play, the seventh will always adhere to the key of C. So here is voice two by itself. And here it is with voices three and four. So we're hearing the root, the fifth, and the seventh. to the final voice. Voice one is going to cover the third in the chord. We've selected saw one, we've got it set to one octave up, and we're going to set uh, the harmony to interval plus harmony one. Let's scroll down to the harmony box and you'll see that we have set uh, harmony one to the third. So let's hear that voice by itself. let's put all of this together. These are uh, full seventh chords generated by a single note on the guitar.
then finally I'm going to want to save the preset so I can hit save as up here and I can name it and select where I want it to uh, go directly on the pedal. So down here I select my uh, preset position. Uh, I can also select save to cloud and share this preset with everybody else in the neural community. So I can uh, name the preset, I can give it a description, and I can also embed a YouTube or SoundCloud link so people can hear uh, the type of riff I'm using with it. So that's it. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye. Mm -hmm.